a salesman named Bemuse is shown. In a village, he was bidding the animals. He tells the public that these animals do a lot of work, but they don't have minds. That's why he's brought them some new animals. Following that, Bemuse's pals Shank and Ollie bring animals inside. These animals were called Thorophants, and they were a cross between elephants and horses. Later, they bring on stage a Thorophant named Mosley. Everyone is taken aback when they realize the animals can communicate. The muse invites them to bid on them. Mosley becomes concerned and inquires of its mother as to what is going on. Its mother also doesn't know anything. Like this, they bid and Mosley was sold. They take Mosley and the next scene is shown after 25 years, Mosley has grown elder. It is discovered Mosley has a family. It is married to Barat and has a five-year-old son named Rue. It is discovered here a man named Simon purchased Mosley. He used to take a lot of work from Mosley. That man is enraged and cruel. But Mosley doesn't lose courage because of taking care of its family. It used to do each task. Bemuse the salesman is again shown who had sold Mosley. He has an old Thorophant. Its name was Turpin. Mosley's family knows Turpin for a long time. The muse agrees Simon purchased land nearby. He asks him to bid on Rue in exchange for land. Mosley comes and tells Simon that it is a deserted land. There is nothing good, but Simon beats Mosley and requests that it leave. Now Barat was pregnant. It was celebrating the happiness of the baby at night. Mosley's son says that it has seen a weird place. It asks Mosley to go there. Mosley was tired. Barat asks Mosley to go to the place with Rue. Rue and Mosley move and also meet some fireflies on the way. They reach the cave with them. Reaching there, Mosley notices the drawings of Thorophants on the cave. The strange thing is those Thorophants were standing on their feet. They were working with their hands. Mosley remembers what Turpin said while seeing them. Many years ago, it was said that all Thorophants could talk on their two feet. They stay in an upright position. Turpin has told them how many Thorophants traveled to the north to escape from humans. The survivors were made slaves by humans. The Thorophants still hope the upright Thorophants will come to save them. Many Thorphans think they have forgotten them. After all this, Mosley returns with Rue. It also asks Barat to stay Rue away from all this. Don't feed such things in its mind. While conversing, they hear Simon and Bemuse's voices talking. They hear Simon says to Bemuse he will sell Rue when the new baby arrives. Now he is ready for this. Barat says to Mosley, please do something. It also says, I think only Upright can save us the next day. Simon brings Mosley to the new field in order to plow when it starts plowing. The ground appears rocky. The plow breaks Mosley falls to the ground as a result. After it, Simon becomes furious. Mosley appears, enraged, and resolves to save its family. It says to Rue it is going in search of uprights. It asks it to take care of its mother. Later, it runs towards the forest to that cave. Simon and many others move in search of Mosley. But they couldn't search it Simon returns in anger and locked Barat and Rue's shed. So they will not run from there. The muse informs Simon that he will look for anyone who can bring Mosley back. Later, the muse brings a dangerous hunter Warfield. Rue understands after seeing the hunter its father is in danger. Rue moves secretly from there in order to save its father. Turpin stops it and says your mother needs you. You should stop here. On another side, the hunter Warfield moves to the forest to bring Mosley back. The muse sends Shank and Ollie behind him, so he will get to know how to catch Thorophant. Moving forward in the cave Mosley gets stuck while falling in a ditch. Meanwhile, Warfield also arrives. Mosley understands it was his trap. Shank and Ollie also arrive in the cave. Ollie also falls into the trap. Mosley comes out of the trap while taking Ollie's support. It moves forward while escaping from Warfield. Mosley comes out of the cave it notices water falls. It sees behind that Warfield was still chasing it. Mosley moves forward while running but it slips and falls down. It notices Warfield was still behind it. Mosley gets faint while falling down when it awakes and finds itself in a cave behind waterfalls. It notices it is a castle-like place. Mosley hears some voices it sees secretly and feels like someone is seeing it. It is discovered these are uprights. Mosley believes the drawings in the cave were right. Those uprights also see Mosley. They come to it. Their names were Warney, Deaver, and Galen. Deaver says to Mosley it didn't know the other Thorophants are outside. Mosley asks them, what are they doing here? It says Galen has seen some fireflies in its dream at night. After it, they all come here and Mosley tells them about its problem. It says they all have to come with their army to save them from humans. They believe in Mosley and take Mosley to their island. On the way, they tell Mosley how many tasks he can complete with his hands. On another side, Warfield is shown he has reached this castle while causing Mosley. While walking, they reach a forest. They tell its name is the Great Orchid. Warney tells it their city is behind this forest. Warney tells Mosley they can't go to this forest because they are impure. There is a Thorophant's tree. 
A guardian is guarding it. I'm not sure why that guardian is so upset with them all. The Thorofant never returns from that forest. Mosley discovers a cave under the forest. Mosley says we will cross through this cave. Like this, we will not need to go inside the forest. They all believe Mosley. As they move all the trees bend down, they return while saving their life. After it, they move from a long path. They stop in a cave to spend a night. On another side, Rue is shown helping its mother. While carrying it, it was also learning the job. Turpin was also present, and he tells Rue it will stay here until its father returns. On another side, Galen moves while chasing some fireflies. The other three move behind it to stop it. Warfield also arrived here. Mosley tells them Warfield is chasing it for a long time. Galen asks Mosley to believe in fireflies and they jump from the cliff. Orny and Deaver believe they have died. They come upside through fireflies while flying. After it, Deaver and Warney also jump and fly through fireflies and move far. Like this, they were saved from Warfield. Due to fireflies, Mosley reaches and enters the city happily. Mosley gets shocked seeing all this. How all the Thorophants were living like humans. It becomes happy on this. Now it will save its family. Its happiness changes into worry in a short time. It notices all the Thorophants are old here. Warney claims that no one has been born in a long time. This is all because of the Great Orchid's curse. It tells all the Thorophants are living the last moments of their life. After it, Mosley becomes depressed, it thinks to return to its family. Warney asks it to stay one more day because we are also like your family. The queen would be delighted to meet you. The muse, on the other hand, finds a good deal on Turpin. He comes to take Turpin. Rue is sad because Turpin was leaving. Turpin says to Rue don't be sad your father will return soon. But, until it returns, you must be as strong as your father. The muse says to Simon he will return soon. He will come to take Rue when the new baby arrives. The time has come for Beret to have a child. On another side, Mosley meets the queen and sees the castle is behind the orchid. The queen says at first it doesn't know about it, it will help it at any cost. When the queen said this all the Thorophants get ready, that we will go with you. Meanwhile, an old Thorophant comes inside, being panicked, it says a human has entered their city. That human was Warfield. All the Thorophants ask Warfield to return, but in return Warfield injures Galen. The other Thorophants take Galen inside. Galen asks Mosley to believe in fireflies. You have to follow them. After it, Mosley sees some fireflies on thrones. It hits an idea. It asks everyone to hide. It wants that while chasing it Warfield move to Great Orchid. The queen tells it how if it will eat the fruit of that tree this curse will be removed. The queen tells it how it has to be careful from that guardian. Because the guardian doesn't want to let anyone come near that tree. According to the plan, Mosley takes Warfield to the forest. It fights with Warfield with its full power. After some time, it throws Warfield. Then Mosley sees some fireflies they were calling it near the pure tree. Mosley runs towards the pure tree but Warfield again attacks it. This time, Mosley falls down badly. Warfield believes he will ruin Mosley's life. Before he says anything to Mosley all the fireflies become a warrior, they disappear while picking Mosley. Warfield was forever trapped in the forest. All of the Thorophants in the castle suspect Mosley is dead. Suddenly, Mosley appears with all the fireflies. The fireflies heal all the wounds of Mosley. Here we discover, basically, the guardians of the tree were all those fireflies. Mosley remembers the fireflies were guiding him from the start. These fireflies give it the fruit of the pure tree. On another side, Rue is shown saying goodbye to its younger sister Rosie and mother because Bemuse has arrived to bring Rue from Simon. Barab becomes depressed because of it but here we notice a shadow while walking, it was Mosley. Mosley comes to Simon while walking like humans. It asks him to leave its family. Simon doesn't obey it and after it, Mosley shows him its new getup. Rue also runs to see if its father has been released from Bemuse. Mosley sees Rosie, it lifts it and makes it happy to see it. Later, Mosley makes its family eats the pure fruit. They become uprights after eating the fruit. Mosley and his family are shown being relocated to the upright city. The end. Subscribe if you like this recap. Bye.